why are we Hindi India? Why are we not Hindustan? No, this is not a sthan of Hindus. We have to be secular. Other, ka, other people of other religions are there. Hey, but who is the main population here? Don't I have a right? This is my only country. This is the only country which is Hindu. Unfortunately, because of a certain political party which ruled us since independence, for their vote base, they made us uncomfortable in our own home, in our own belief. Today, I'm proud to be a Hindu. I am super proud. I'm an ardent Shiva Bhakt. This is a harsh fact. And the seculars and the left-wingers should remember this. It's very easy today to bash a Hindu. Very easy. Someone can come here, stand here, give me bad words for being a Hindu and get away with it. But you try that with other religion. I challenge you guys. You will not be spared. You will not be spared. I was so happy when Bipinji invited me this time. I said, yes, I am coming and I want to talk about it. I want to reach out via the media to my fellow Hindus who on internet right now are being warriors. But trust me, if a situation comes where things go bad and just because you are secular on social media, the people of the other religions are not going to spare you or your family. So wanting to be stronger, wanting to be protected myself and to wanting to protect my family is not wrong. Today, if a Hindu is speaking up, it is, even right now as I'm speaking to you guys, I'm feeling weird. Ki, why am I speaking about Hinduism? Why do I have to, when did this happen? Because I feel we Hindus, as Hindus, we're very chill people. Ha, karma. Wal karma wal taru. Ha, unka karma wa That's how we are. In fact, the first tattoo that I did is inspired from the Gita, is a word from the Gita called Sthita Pradnya. Gita tells you to be Sthita Pradnya. It tells you about your own Atma. It tells you about your own Atma Zunnati. It doesn't tell you to, you know, bother about the world. Look inside, look inward. Sthita Pradnya means Samantar, neutral, a state of detachment. Because we Hindus, we believe in Karma, we believe in Prarabdha, we believe in rebirth. So for us, it is our own journey. Whereas for the other religions, like I, I, I still feel uncomfortable talking negative about other religions, but I have not yet at least come across other religions talking about the journey of the soul. They are more about outwardly conquest. How many people can we convert to our side? So today, yes, again I am using the word be secular, be neutral but not at the cost of your own identity. Because right now, if we do not stand up, I very strongly feel it's going to be very late. Coming to the most burning issue right now in our country, is Kashmir Files, a film. There have been a lot of films that have been made on communal topics before this, but no film has gathered so much conversation online and offline. This film has made us literally talk or take sides openly without feeling shy or ashamed of the side that you're taking. Because in our own country, we are made to feel awkward if you talk you know, very strongly about your own religion or if you are right-winged, like they say you're right-winged you are, or you're communal. So this is a film I saw the trailer. The trailer itself was so painful for me to watch. And this is a fact that it should be put across to a larger audience. Even though I am living in India, I am born in India, I did not know exactly what had happened with the Kashmiri Pandits. We hear tidbits, we read some articles, but uh, even though it's a it's a film. There is cinematography and music and actors involved. But the core truth of the film has literally got a nation together. And I think it's high time filmmakers also should stop being like on the fence. We, we, there are other topics. Filmmakers are free to make films on those topics. It's a, uh, it's a free country. 
but if this film was made and this film has invoked so much emotion in our fellow countrymen that means a sense of injustice was already prevailing in our hearts otherwise just a film will not provoke the sentiments we go and watch films we enjoy them we come back home we discuss about are what a kya dance kiya are kya gana tha ye bale acting chesaru we don't get the films in our hearts we don't put it on our heads this film has done that to us and this you know they won't be smoke without fire so the years and years and years of operation that we have gone through from 1300s the mughals invaded us then from 1700s the british has started coming 1800s the british has almost had started ruling us so for 7 800 years we have been ruled by people who are not our own imagine a hindu country a hindu civilization a hindu population is first for 600 years being ruled by mughals who came in the whole babar dynasty and then we had the britishers coming in who are christians i feel somewhere we have lost a sense of identity and it is not wrong i feel to want it back when partition happened there was two countries that were made one was pakistan and one was india pakistan got pakistan but we didn't get hindustan this a very few people think about ki agar if pakistan got its name of their choice why were, why are we hindi, india why are we not hindustan no this is not a stan of hindus we have to be secular other other people of other religions are there but who is the main population here don't i have a right this is my only country this is the only country which is hindu christians have so many countries muslims have so many countries buddhists have so many countries i don't have an option this is the only country that i have i can't even proudly call it hindustan without being labeled or without being trolled so i want to be a proud hindu in other religion people can also be here it doesn't mean if it's hindustan that will not mean that you guys can't be here i feel it's time for the hindus to stop feeling shy or to stop feeling uncomfortable to talk about being a proud hindu before i came here couple of people i told i'm going to this conclave they were like why are you talking about hinduism don't you think it's politically incorrect be careful jagrata maatladu ikku maatladku problem aipothundi sambhal ke baat karna and i was like what are you are talking मैं कुछ गलत बात नहीं कर रही हूँ आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट टेररिज्म आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट रॉबिंग अनदर कंट्री आई एम जस्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट माय ओन आइडेंटिटी सो टुडे अनफॉर्चुनेटली बिकॉज ऑफ अ सर्टेन पॉलिटिकल पार्टी विच रूल्ड अस सिंस इंडिपेंडेंस फॉर देयर वोट बेस दे मेड अस अनकंफर्टेबल इन आर ओन होम इन आर ओन बिलीफ टुडे आई एम प्राउड टू बी अ हिंदू आई एम सुपर प्राउड आई एम एन आर्ट एंड शिवा भक्त నాకు శివ అంటే బలే ఇష్టం శివుడు అంటే నా ప్రాణం నాకు గణపతి ఇష్టం నాకు దుర్గాదేవి ఇష్టం బట్ ఐ ఆల్సో రిస్పెక్ట్ అదర్ రిలీజన్స్ ఐ రిస్పెక్ట్ క్రిస్టానిటీ ఐ రిస్పెక్ట్ ఇస్లాం ఐ రిస్పెక్ట్ జుడాయిజం ఐ రిస్పెక్ట్ బుద్ధిజం సో ద సెక్యులర్స్ ఆఫ్ అ కంట్రీ మై యాంగ్స్ ఆర్ మై ఇరిటేషన్ ఈజ్ టువర్డ్స్ మై ఫెలో హిందూస్ హూ అండర్ ద గైజ్ ఆఫ్ సెక్యులరిజం ఆర్ పుటింగ్ డౌన్ యర్ ఓన్ రిలీజన్ రిస్పెక్ట్ సమ్వన్ ఎల్స్ బట్ యూ డోంట్ హ్యావ్ టు పుట్ డౌన్ యర్ ఓన్ సెల్ఫ్ be a proud hindu first charity begins at home people have to understand that you are not giving respect to your own religion you are not giving respect to your own roots you are not giving respect to your own ancestors but you want to give respect to someone else who in the times of need is not going to be there for you this is a harsh fact and the seculars and the left wingers should remember this it's very easy today to bash a hindu very easy someone can come here stand here give me bad words for being a hindu and get away with it but you try that with a 